Hello! Freedom Guy 55 here again. I just saw Horrible Bosses. And I have to say that uh, the movie doesn't really work very well in kind of being entertaining for me, but the actual comedy in the movie does really work well. It's a really kind of, it really does become very funny. I did laugh several times. But the movie just has a tendency to have a kind of unbalanced. I mean, it's, it's no uh, hangover. The movie kind of plays kind of like uh, 9 to 5, like with Dolly Parton, and, you know, and combining that with the movie Hangover, putting it together. You know, a bunch of white guys, you know, doing some stupid things. Well, anyway, uh, you have, uh, the movie is about the three guys who are supposedly these friends, uh, played by Jason Bateman, um, and uh, actually, uh, Jason uh, Sudeikis, or Sudeikis, and also Charlie Day. Um, well, anyway, they wind up actually uh, having each of them have uh, different, really terrible bosses. Uh, uh, Jason Bateman's character has Kevin Spacey, uh, who kind of seems to reprise a role that he played in. Uh, in an independent feature uh, long ago called uh, Swimming with Sharks, but uh, which is also a good movie, and it plays kind of more in a darker tone. This one kind of has much more, in some ways, of a lightheartedness, and it's kind of hard to make a darker comedy these days, I mean, or, or dark comedy these days. Um, but anyway, he basically plays this, like, really evil asshole boss, mainly. And then, of course, we have uh, Jennifer Aniston, um, who plays a dentist. She is um, Charlie Day's boss, or at least the character of Charlie Day's boss, uh, who basically is sexually harassing her and threat and threatens his um, basically uh, uh, engagement to his to his fiance by threatening threatening him to to have sex with her so he want, so she winds up blackmailing her uh, blackmailing him I'm sorry she winds up blackmailing him into trying to have so that she can get sex from him um then there's uh Jason Sudeikis's boss which is played by Colin Farrell who plays this like really whacked out cokehead and he's not in it to, you know, he's not, you know, there to uh, run a business. He's there just to, you know, make himself, make himself rich and not care about, you know, how the business is run. Well, anyway, out of it all, <clears throat> these three, the... These three characters decide to want to go and uh, kill their bosses because of what they're actually doing to their lives. You know, not being able to succeed into their workplace, basically being, a, you know, um, being threatened and being blackmailed and so on. So they wind up deciding to try to actually ki kill them and then all these hijinks kind of ensue and such. Now, this does actually have star power and people do have a tendency to play their roles pretty well. So, and the comedy is pretty solid. It does work, and it is funny. But my problem with the movie is, like, really two big things. One, I had a hard time really accepting these three guys as being friends. They seem to be more like guys that just met each other that explain of how much they just hate their bosses. There just isn't seeming to be a really deep connection. They seem to be just, you know, colliding within each other just to make some sort of like, you know, comedy happen. You know, like there's some sort of comedy hijinks that we have to add to it. I mean, really, it's no hangover, you know? Well, that's one really big problem. I, I think the dialogue it just really doesn't get passed around to actually make me believe that they're friends. Two is the fact that really two of the bosses really seem very unnecessary for this movie. I mean, it would have been much better if all if like all three of them had just one job. They were all friends and such like that, like they did with nine to five. And where all three of them had one boss, and then they just basically hated him, hated his guts. It would have worked much better than just having three separate bosses. 
because two of the bosses seem to be quite unnecessary, Colin Farrell and uh, Jennifer Aniston. I, just like they kind of seem to be thrown into the movie. And, and I didn't really like how the movie kind of resolved itself within the three bosses. I thought that it would have been much better if they actually had, if the bosses were much more equally distributed and that we were able to, you know, have them all have a tendency to collide and everything to be worked out for the three guys in every single one. But it just doesn't seem to be that they seem to be cut up into kind of bits. Like Colin Farrell gets like kind of put on the cutting room floor too much. And I think that, uh, Jen uh, you know, and Jennifer Aniston seems to be, like, you know, put in the kind of corner. We seem to be much more focused on Kevin Spacey's character, which actually he does play a, a good role, but it just seems to be rehashed from a movie that he already played. So the, this is the really big problems I actually had with the movie. But the movie does get a pass for me, and I do recommend it. I do give it a thumbs up, basically, because... The comedy does work. It is pretty funny. And I do like how Kevin Spacey does, you know, play his role. He plays it pretty well. He's a good actor. So, anyway, I do give it a thumbs up, but I only give it, like, a pass on three stars. It's not that entertaining. It's just, it's just good. It's a good movie. It's good to see. Uh, I wouldn't own it, mainly. It just isn't good enough for me to own, and it's not my personal taste. But... If you want to actually see a comedy this weekend, I do recommend Horrible Bosses. So, thumbs up. It's good. But just kind of mildly and kind of just three-star movie. Out of five, mainly. Three stars out of five. So, uh, and that's pretty much it. And I thank you for your time, and have a nice day.